Hello, hello everyone. I am Sai De Silva and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. I would love for you to stick around, watch this video. If you decide that I'm a vibe, please make sure you subscribe. So today we are doing a luxury haul and not just any luxury haul. It's always creme de la creme when it comes to Hermes. So I've been meaning to film this for the last few weeks. I went to Hermes when I was in Paris. I usually go twice a year. That's usually around fashion month when I am in Europe. So I actually have never scored anything worth talking about in the States at Hermes. I usually grab things in Paris when I'm there. This time, I'll be honest, I went in for one particular thing and I ended up not getting that. So let's bring our expectations down just a bit. I'm already going to get started on this. It is not a Kelly. It is not a Birkin. That is not what's in these boxes. I just wanted to throw that out there. However, there were a few pieces when I walked in there that I just ended up snagging anyway because my essay can literally sell me anything. And I would be like, yeah, sure, no problem. I just love to like collect pieces of Hermes, if that makes sense. Let's do some unboxings because I know that's what you came here for. Pull up a drink, by the way. It is the early evening for me and I said, why not? Why not drink a little? This is class over here. It's luxurious. It feels great over here, right? I'm going to start out with something that I already unboxed on Instagram. If you are new here or you are here and you don't follow me on Instagram, this is my Instagram page and I would love for you to come over. I do stories every day, reels, TikToks, also on TikTok, follow me there. Um, and I update you daily. But I did do an unboxing there. Most of you have probably seen these. Wore them already when I was in Paris and I shot them. They were just a boot, I mean, I already said it. The last time that I went to Paris, they didn't have my size and they were also a slightly different piece. These are the quintessential Hermes jumper boots Ooh. all right get into that you see the buckle i did mention this before on my instagram unboxing that it does not stay still it does move around quite a bit and it is very annoying so it rotates any which way while you're walking I'm pretty sure you can go and do something and get it to stay in place. But I mean, I just feel like if I'm spending this kind of money on a pair of boots, I would like them to come like that, you know? I would say they run true to size. I am a 38. They seem to have more room in them. Um, if I size down, it was too small. Uh, so I just ended up keeping these the way they are. The leather is so soft. It feels like it, it's calf skin. There is a lot of flexibility here. Their original jumper boot does not have a lot of flex to it like these. These are more of a slouchy boot that you can really slouch down just like this. I had a boot like this that reminded me more of like a 70s slouch and I really like it. I mean the leather smells amazing. It feels fantastic. And then, of course, you can unbuckle if you like. You could actually even take the buckle completely off. I don't think that I would, but if you don't want it, you can also take it off. So it's extremely versatile. I have some photos here of when I wore them. So I got my bat back. And between the VAT and the price, they were about $700 cheaper in Europe. So that always makes me feel like I have scored. The next thing that I ended up purchasing was ready to wear. So I ended up with this almost like a denim jacket. Obviously the color is different from your usual denim. Take a look at that. I really love the logo. I'll be honest, I usually am not an Hermes ready to wear type of person. I usually like things that are a little bit more trendy and I feel as if their stuff is a little bit more classic and geared towards more of an older audience, which there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's just that I never find anything that is personally my style. So this time around, I did look at some of the ready to wear. I do think it's a tad bit overpriced to be honest, but for whatever reason, I really like this cropped jacket. I was just kind of drawn to it. I thought it was a little bit more youthful, a little fun. Here are the buttons. 
And I also just think when it comes to Hermes, it's something that you can have forever. I definitely will make sure that this is something that my daughter will have. This is a jacket that we will <laughs> never ever get rid of. So I ended up getting that jacket as well as some high-waisted shorts that I loved. Now, I, I originally saw the shorts and I'm like, the shorts are great. I felt like the shorts would go really well with a oversized white button down because white button downs, don't they go with everything? I think that they look great. They're the perfect length for me. But of course, you don't have to wear the outfit together. But if you want a strong flex, I would say definitely go for it. Give it a go, give it a whirl, wear it together, be all the way Hermes darling. look all together let me know what you think I really like the shorts I think that they fit well the length is good here's the back I mean honestly recording yourself is a little bit hard but I think it's a cute outfit it would go really nicely with a pair of clogs some sunglasses there's pockets on the side I like the detailing on the buttons I forgot what size this was I'm just I remember I had to keep continuously going up oh this is a 38 because the 34 and 36 just felt too small for me. But let me know. What do you think about this? I feel like we're moving things pretty quickly here. Sometimes it just tastes like success, you know? Okay, let's move along. I'm going to open this box next. I saw this last year um, when I went to the Hermes Risi in Paris for their spring. This was part of their spring summer collection and it was on the runway. And I kind of like stalked it and it was something that I really wanted. So lo and behold, here I am. Thought that they would be a great addition to spring, summer. Someday I'm going to be in my closet, darling. Here we go. You know, you see some people who do unboxings and they're very elegant and amazing and everything just feels like it flows so beautifully. I am so clumsy. And here they are. Now, we all know I love a good ugly shoe. I love a dad shoe. When I saw this Hermes Gladiator piece, I just knew I needed to have it. The original shoe that I saw on the runway had a sock that was also involved. Unfortunately, they did not have the leather sock that went inside. It was still a big yay for me. I love this sandal so much. They're beyond comfortable. My only issue is that yes, this is more of a foam rubber sole that is at the bottom. However, I don't think that the price was astronomical for me not to buy them. The price was actually very reasonable and because I saved in Paris, I decided that it made sense for me to buy these. It is leather at the top. And then there is this little new signature Hermes logo here down at the bottom that I really like. It says Hermes here on the top. I think it's gonna be a no fuss, really cute to add with your dresses or your shorts in the summer, denim on an oversized linen button down. Overall, I think that they're really cute. What do you think? That brings us to the last box that I ended up purchasing. Now this is a bag. However, again, it is not a Birkin, it is not a Kelly. It's actually a new bag for the brand. Again, I am someone who just really loves Hermes and I feel like it really appreciates over time. And I really like their newer pieces. I think they're great. I mean, not everything at Hermes is a, is a Birkin or a Kelly. Do I want one? Yes, yes, I want one. <laughs> but you know what? I haven't been able to get one. It's, it's not the end of the world. I just don't want to buy one secondhand. I much prefer to buy one at the rate that it actually costs from the store. And until then, I'll just wait. Are you ready? I honestly don't know who's more excited, me or you. Now, again, I bought this a few months ago. Not even a few months ago. Three weeks ago? Four weeks ago? I wanted to open it, but then I said to myself, no, 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 no. Be my scout fam. So here I am. And because I cannot do an unboxing without singing Bridgerton, here it goes. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's it. Let's go home. I honestly forgot what old girl looks like. Did you see that? Did you get a peek? Here she is. This is the new 
Hermes drag bag. Hey lover, here she is. She is adorable and what I love about her is that she has gold hardware. Now this one sold out pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure you can probably find it in some other places but the Hermes store that I was at they only had two colors. They had this beautiful mint green color and then they had a navy. Now for me I feel like when I'm buying these specialty bags why not go for a beautiful color. Yes, it comes with a lock and it also comes with a strap. So let me show you what this looks like when it's all together. The strap is thick, so you can wear it as a crossbody. You see how that opens up like that? Only just a bit. These are the loops for the strap. It's actually not easy. Hold on. Let me try and get this closer for you. I don't want to scratch it, you know what I mean? Hey, we got it. Woo. I also didn't take off the plastic. Next strap is on. Now let's go ahead and put the lock on. Ooh. Hey queen. Look at that. There she goes. You cute, you cute. These are the keys that it comes with. Shall we? I really like that it is wrapped in leather. I think that's a really nice touch. You can, obviously, really go ahead and lock your bag, but why on earth would we lock this bag? Can you imagine locking your bag and having to unlock it every time you need to go inside of it? We would have put it down here. Cute. I like it. I feel like I should be wearing gloves, right? Okay, just some notes about the bag. This bag was on the runway for 2020. This is the new drag bag in size 22. So it is smaller. What I do like is that obviously the lock has a little bit of leather on it, gives it some character. I think the stitching is really beautiful. We'll look a little closer at the stitching. It's roomy, which makes it a really nice bag. It's youthful, it's playful, it feels more trendy to me. It feels like a more trendier piece to me, um, which is nice. So I'm gonna add this to my collection as well as the color. The color I think it's really nice, it pops. I have my phone, as you can see, it fits inside and then some. It also has a, a, an additional pocket for a credit card pocket for anything else that you would need. It has another pocket on the back that you can kind of slip letters or receipts or anything else like that. Let me stand up just a bit so you can get an overall idea of what it looks like. I'm gonna crossbody it. Okay, what do we think? So far, I think it is very cute. I like it. All right, so then we have the keys. The keys I'm going to hang right off of here. I think I need a table. I'm gonna use my leg here. This is a very non-elegant unboxing. Raw, let's just say that. This is a raw unboxing. So I put the keys here should we need them. And then I want you to look at the bottom and the hardware at the bottom. I think the stitching is also very beautiful. But overall, again, I like this bag a lot. And this is something that I'm going to be wearing on repeat this spring. But let me know what you think. I would love your, your thoughts and your opinions. I know that this is a predominantly a new bag for Hermes that people have not seen. So I feel like sometimes when you're so used to seeing the Kelly and the Birkin and then you see the other things that they design, you're kind of like, but what is that? You know what I mean? But I love her. Let's call her Minty. Minty Fresh. All right, guys, guess what? This video is over. Please comment down below and let me know what you liked from this unboxing. And if you didn't like it, that's totally fine too. Just make sure you give me a thumbs up. And again, if you are new, I am a vibe. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.